Are you a fan of scary stories? From evil witches to haunted ghosts, prepare to get spooked with these top 12 scariest moments from books. The Red Spot, From Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. Ruth wakes up one morning with a red spot on her face. Her mom assures her it's just a spider bite and it'll go away, but the spot keeps getting bigger and bigger until one day it bursts and tiny spiders start crawling out. What a living nightmare! The White Witch's Courtyard from The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. When Edmund enters Queen Jadis's courtyard, he expects it to be a little cold and creepy. After all, she was the White Witch who reigned through an eternal winter. Her collection of stone statues in the courtyard is a bit weird, but things take a turn for the evil. When Edmund realizes that the statues are actually the beings of Narnia who the White Witch has turned into stone, Run before you're next! To Mentors on the Train, from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, by J.K. Rowling. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are Hogwarts bound, enjoying a ride on the Hogwarts Express, as they head into another exciting year at the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And all is well until a group of Dementors, dark soulless creatures that suck all the happiness from a place, enter the train and cause Harry to faint and relive his worst memory. Not a great way to start off the year! Pink's Darkness, from The Girl and the Ghost, by Hannah Alcaf. When Soraya's witch grandmother gifts her a Pelisset, a ghost companion, Soraya names her new friend Pink, and the two are inseparable. Only Pink has a dark side, and Soraya enlists the help of a Powang Hantu, a Malaysian shaman who is supposed to help control Pink. Only things take a sinister and even deadly turn when Soraya realizes the Powang isn't here to help her, but to capture Pink. The Manticore Attack from Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. Percy, Annabeth, and Talia arrive at Westover Hall on a search for other demigod children like them. After all, half-god and half-human kids have to stick together, but some people don't feel the same way. Dr. Thorne, a teacher at the school, is secretly a manticore and attacks the group with his scorpion tail, kidnapping Percy so he can't rescue the other demigods. Aren't teachers supposed to help the kids? Lalani's Wish from Lalani of the Distant Sea by Erin Intrada Kelly. Life is hard on the island of San Laquita. The island is going through a terrible drought and is surrounded by the vengeful mountain, Mount Kana. So Lalani makes a deal with Elseth, a strange horned being who promises some much needed rain. Lalani thought it would rain for a day or two, but it rains enough to flood the island. Even worse, Elseth is secretly the mountain beast Kana and ends up causing a landslide with his anger. Lalani and her island are caught right in the middle. The Witch Chase from Night Books by J.A. White. When Alex is captured by the witch Natasha, there is only one thing keeping him from being turned into a porcelain doll, telling her a scary story every night to appease the evil that lurks in Natasha's presence. But soon Alex and fellow captive Yasmin plot an escape, which leads to the most frightening chase of their lives with Natasha on their tail. Stranded on Mars from In the Red by Christopher Sweetler. Michael and Lilith live in a space colony, and there's just one rule. Don't step foot on Mars. But they can't resist the adventure, and what could go wrong? They put on their spacesuits and adventure along the planet on a stolen rover, until a solar flare hits Mars and knocks out all the power and navigation systems. Now they're stranded with little food, water, and air. Yikes! Harper's Haunted House, from Spirit Hunters, by Ellen O. There's a rumor that Harper's new house is haunted, so Harper is right to not trust it the moment she steps inside. And when her usually sweet little brother Michael starts acting mean, she discovers that he's been possessed by Billy, a ghost who haunts the house, and Harper might be next. The Skeleton Man, from The Legend of Skeleton Man, by Joseph Bruchak. 
One of Molly's favorite scary stories growing up was The Legend of Skeleton Man, a gruesome tale about a man with a deadly, uncontrollable hunger who eats everyone in his village except for one brave girl. And when Molly's parents mysteriously disappear, and she goes to live with a great uncle she's never met, there are some disturbing similarities between him and the Skeleton Man. When she's locked in her room each night, the warning bells start going off! The Skeleton Man is real! Evil Spirits Unleashed from Ghost Squad by Clarabel A. Ortega Lucelli's family isn't like other families. Most of them are ghosts. Her dad is even in charge of a ghost tour business. Lucelli's dead relatives take the form of fireflies, and she shares a close bond with them. But when her family's spirits are in danger, Lucelli and her best friend Sid try to save them with a spell. Only the spell accidentally awakens malicious spirits who start wreaking havoc throughout the town. Things were not supposed to end up this way. The Takari Attack from Lightfall, The Girl and the Galdurian by Tim Probert. In the world of Urpa, the sun no longer exists, and the land is lit by floating lights invented by the Galdurians to ward off the overwhelming darkness. But when darkness threatens to overtake the world again, B teams up with Cad, one of the few remaining Galdurians, to prevent it from happening. And that means battling the creepy Takari, who overtake the town in search of the last light of the sun to rid the world of brightness forever. The stakes have never been higher.